<laughs> Let's go. Hello there, everybody. This is Mark. And I'm here. Surprise, surprise. To talk about Monica Rial's utter stupidity. As well as Jamie Markey's utter incompetence. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, this um this initial screenshot. Since I've been blocked by the majority of these people, I've been looking their stuff up on um on mobile Twitter and have been uh, screenshotting it and stuff like that. So um so yeah. So let's go on ahead and uh just get into this proper. So this so as you can see, this guy is um going after Yellow Flash. Apparently the first thing I see in my YouTube feed this morning, and I'm not even subbed to them. What is what what is with their constant use of using Bulma in all of these thumbnails? And the text used is such clickbait in nearly every vid they do. Um, clickbait? As far as I'm aware, the screenshot that the thumbnail that they were using was Um, for Flash's video, it says they want blood on it. Okay, so I managed to find the I managed to find it. So yeah, so this um this one here is, you know, about um, Flash is essentially saying that now they, uh, they want blood. The thing is, that's not clickbait. That's not clickbait in the, that's not clickbait in the slightest. Clickbait would be if someone clicked onto the video and what happened, and what it said in the title had nothing to do with what was in the video. So, that would be like if I, if in one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, I put something along the lines of, um, like, you know, I'd put like, I don't know, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh, um, Zexel sucks, or something like that. I'd put, um, like, if I put, like, in a thumbnail, Zexel, five reasons why Zexel sucks, and the entire video was me praising Zexel about how amazing it is, apparently. Um, that would be clickbait. Re le legitimately mis 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 uh, misleading your audience by your thumbnail descriptions. The, and a woeful difference between the content of the thumbnail itself and the content of the actual video you're presenting using the thumbnail. So, yeah. Clickbait? Not clickbait. And, for, and to me, this video is not clickbait. Especially the thumbnail. But it gets even- but it gets even funnier. Sorry, just saw my email. But, um, but, uh, it gets even funnier. So, let's go on ahead and, uh, let's go on ahead and go over to the next, um, so let's go on ahead and get and get over to the, to the next uh, screenshot here. Here is where Ronica goes crazy. Let them use the image. Makes it that much easier to get it taken down. Now I'm gonna get into my opinion on this in a minute. Um, but suffice to say, there's a lot of issues with uh, this initial statement. Uh, right here. In all honesty, I thought that whole Vic situation had already died out. Pardon me. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, um, about that. <laughs> if anything, it's only just begun. If anything, it has only just begun. Uh, the trial has officially started, and it is it has been glorious to watch so far. But anyway. Nope, still going. For what it's worth, I think you're an, I think you're an outstanding a actress. Thanks. Do you think you stand a chance? Excuse me? Do you think you have a chance to win a case when your evidence is non-existent? Like Jamie was asked, did he do it, yet she threw the guy out. You, you so-called survivors shouldn't attack people when they just ask. I'm a survivor. Lol, who said that's what- Oh, and uh, here's- Oh, and uh, here's Jamie, my uh, here's Jamie, my legal knowledge is malarkey. Uh, right here. Lol, who said- who said- who says that's what he asked? You guys, gotta, you guys gotta end this. I'm tired of anime of anime weeb stuff trending, trending on Twitter. Just have a massive something that's really gross and all and let all be forgiven. So no one said that's what he asked, and people are just continuing to make stuff up. Sounds about right. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, what it's talking about, essentially what happened, what this person is referring to, um, here is that. Um, there was a guy who basically asked Jamie a question on a panel related to the case. And this person evidently had a speech impediment or something like that. 
and the entire time, Jamie is essentially making fun of the guy. She's making fun of the guy, and then apparently she had the guy thrown out just because of his- just because of his speech impediment or something. So, um, that's what they're referring to when the, um, in case anyone's lost. So, um, I have actually seen video of it happening. Well, it's really just audio, because no one- because no one actually caught video of it, but it's- it's audio. So, I know for a fact that the conversation took place. If I can find the video, I'll put it in the description so you guys can go check it out. But, um, yeah, suffice to say, they're- they're just dodging and being held accountable here. Okay, so- okay, so... Okay, guys, so, I just wanted to show you guys these two things, first of all, uh, to end- to end here. So, um, I actually found out about, um, the thing with Flash because of a Senpai's home video. And so, basically, I just wanted to read, um, these two- these, um, these few tweets from- uh, technically from myself, but who's counting? Um, it's technically not plagiarism if I use it- if I use it- if I use my own content, but whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but anyway. So, just got this from Senpai is Home's latest vid, and I have something to say. The film- the thumbnails that these idiots claim is copyrighted and will get taken down are transformative in nature, which is protected by the U.S. Constitution. Okay, so basically, um... When I say they're transformative, what I mean is, for those of you who don't know, these thumbnails that they're claiming are, that they're claiming are being able to uh, that they're claiming are easier to take down, they're protected by fair use. Because here's the thing, it would be one thing, and it would be a copyright infringement if the person just uploaded the image, like the one of Bulma here, to YouTube without changing it in any way. It, that that would have been a copyright infringement right there, because you're using the company's intellectual property for your own profit. Now, what changes the entire game, though, is when you transform it. And what I mean by that is, either by cropping it, by adding text to it like Flash did, by color coding it, by doing something different with the material to make it stand out, and to make it differentiate from the official image. And so, yeah, so Flash's, so Flash's, um... But yeah, so Flash's, um thumbnail here is completely protected under fair use as far as I'm concerned. But literally every thumbnail used by him, me, Hirohei, Yellow Flash, um, SG, um, SGS Sammy, and that Umbrella guy are protected by fair use. If they think they're winning this in addition to Vic's case, they're like Hercule was against Cell. They're way in, they're in way over their heads. And then, um, because here's the thing, they are. They're in over their heads about this. Because at this point, they're legitimately trying to trying to say that our rights under the Constitution do not matter. That's what they're trying to say here. They're trying to play God with our rights. And that's not okay. And then um and then, uh, just to end here, so, this is a little rant that I put up, um, yesterday afternoon, so, uh, this was, this was, this was, uh, supposed to be a letter type thing, but for some reason my phone corrected, my, my phone auto-corrected a lot, so, um, if it doesn't seem like a letter, like a letter, I apologize. Um, to kick Vic, no matter what you do to me, I will continue reporting on this situation, because it involves a voice actor who I appreciate and whose work I love. You say we aren't entitled to evidence. You say we're the problem. You say your defamatory statements don't count against you. Looking at you, hashtag Jamie Markey. You say the thumbnails using a certain intellectual property will make our videos easier to take down. Looking at you, hashtag Veronica. You call anyone who, be who doesn't believe survivors... A-holes. Hashtag Beta Sean. You say we aren't going to be able to last this out and that we're the minority. You say that Vic Mignogna is a predator and a creep, even though you have no evidence to support those allegations. You block us immediately when we ask you to prove your points with actual facts. You people, hashtag Beta Sean, hashtag Chris Sabat, hashtag Veronica, hashtag Jamie Markey, are supposed to be professionals, yet you're behaving like five-year-old children who believe that we owe you. Here's the big one. When in reality, this entire time, and especially now, th now that the legal system is involved, you owe us. 
You owe us, you owe Vic Mignogna, you owe the court a darn good explanation for your petty, disgusting, insulting, and above all else, childish behavior over the past four months. If anyone agrees, type hashtag VicArmy. Let's get, let's get a movement going, besides the hashtag sound with Vic movement, to show these people that we mean business, and we demand to know the truth. And, for, um, for some reason, the character limit wouldn't allow- The Twitter character limit wouldn't allow me to go beyond that. But what I meant to put was... That we mean business, and that we demand, and at this point, deserve to know the truth. Because here's the thing. We've been fighting for Vic Mignogna for a little over four months now. And... We deserve to know what really happened. We deserve to know what went down. We deserve to know the truth. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think of my little rant as well as a f as well as um some other stuff like re related to um I stand with Vic in the comments below. Um let me let me know what you think about um the whole copyright thing. Like was I am I in the right? Am I in the wrong? Let me know let me know your thoughts. If you like the vi um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. All I ask is that you give me your feedback so that so that um, so that I can better my content. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless, and catch you later.